Alright guys, it's Payne and today I'm going to show you how to uh, use your PS3 controller on Windows 7 and or Windows Vista. And first of all, you need to download the uh, .exe file that, and the link for the 64-bit version of Windows 7 and the 32-bit version of Windows 7. I will provide in the description below. You just hit enter when you uh, put it in the URL. And uh, I have already have the file right here, so what you want to do is go ahead and install it and uh yep just run through here uh i don't recommend using a quick launch icon because uh I, I hate those but that's your preference and yes you want to check run ds3 tool i don't know why they call it ds3 that's uh weird but uh it's gonna pop up this annoying website that i'm sure foreigners have built and cannot write correct english but you're gonna get this screen to pop up and then you should be good to go right here all you wanna right now you wanna plug in con your controller and you should hear that windows boom boom noise and then you'll see this right here and you saw my desktop uh, change background but you'll see this pop here one DualShock 3 slash 6 axis um I have a 6 axis, six axis I'm using right now uh, I'm sure there's a vibration driver somewhere around the internet uh, on their website, motionenjoy.com, um, if you want to use that for your uh, DualShock 3 vibration. But anyways, um, the first thing you want to do is, you want to, uh, to make sure that the connection is solid, you want to go ahead and go right here to custom, and just do like one or four, and then hit enable. And you should notice on your PS3 controller that the lights one and four are on but not two and three and this means that it's working that your ps3 is like recognized by windows and right now it's in a uh, playstation one mode so that means only the uh, dual pad and uh, not the joysticks will work but just the dual pad and the uh, face buttons but not the joystick so if you want to test that out go to game controller panel and then that should be the name right there right there motion enjoy virtual game controller you hit properties and uh, just start pressing buttons and you should see things flash up and uh, yeah that's how you that's the basically how you install uh, your PS3 controller on Windows 7 now if you're having problems and like it's not being recognized or anything what you want to go over here to driver manager and uh, you'll see if your controller is plugged in you'll see that it's right here it recognizes as in but sometimes right here under loaded already by motion joint it won't it say it won't say loaded it'll say not loaded or anything what you want to do is check mark that and hit load driver and if that doesn't work for you you want to hit check mark and then hit install all if that doesn't work for you you want to go ahead and uh, reinstall the driver package and that seems always works for me and this is how I played Star Fox 64 and my whoops this is how you I played Star Fox what the, this is how I played Star Fox with my PS3 controller damn it this is how I play Star Fox <laughs> yeah this is not a reliable program so just go to local since you won't have this is not a rival program. See, it's already bugged out. Well, every time you want to remove, you want to safely remove your uh, PS3 controller, you want to hit disconnect over here. And then Windows should do that boom, boom, that noise where you disconnect stuff. And it didn't do it for me. So hopefully, when I unplug it right here, it doesn't turn on my PS3. Oh, did well. This is a buggy program. This is a very buggy program. So sometimes people will have, uh, won't have any problems, and sometimes people won't. So if you you want to make sure your PS3 is turned off completely by switching off the uh, button in the back, and then um, you want to make sure the connection isn't uh, on while you're trying to connect it to your computer, because that could really mess up your PS3 controller and uh if you ever mess up your ps3 controller like that there's a reset button in the back if you just grab a pencil and poke a hole in a very very small 
hole back here. Um, it should reset the connection and uh, it should be fine. But if you do have problems, just go ahead and reinstall Motion Enjoy. It's, oh, well, first of all, you have to exit the program first. And go ahead and reinstall Motion Enjoy driver and uh, go through it again. And it should be working like new, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that is uh, that annoying pop up. That's so annoying. But yeah, that is how you install your PS3 controller on Windows 7. This is Payne975.